Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're back for some more of my own racing now, rather than the commentaries that you've all been used to over the past couple of weeks. Um, and this one's a new series that we've joined in with. So we've uh, hopped in with the boys over at SimFX Racing. There will be a link to their Facebook page in the description of this video. Uh, and we're in their Infinity GT Manufacturers Series. I believe this is a brand new league that's been started up. Uh, there's three leagues in total. I think there's a, a amateur, a pro am, and a pro league. Uh, we have somehow blagged our way into the pro league. Uh, so we are up against some really fast guys, and uh, we are in Team Lexus. So I'll just talk you through the teams and the cars and, and what it is. So it's uh, in this in these races that we're going to cover. It's GT3 cars, but there are GT4s as well. Uh, so you've got Fat Pickles Bro in the Honda NSX. Uh, you got Pav 46. Uh, Pav is a fellow MRC. -er. He's in the Porsche um, Team Shake and Bake, I believe they're calling themselves. Uh, Rizzler King, he's in the Mazda Atenza. Uh, Thundercat is also Team Honda, so you've basically got two people per team. So Thundercat and Fat Pickles Bro are, are Team Honda. Uh, then you got me in the Lexus, and um, B Rated, who's also in the Lexus. B Rated was standing in for um, Andy Dawson, VQS Dawson, who's meant to be driving this series with me, but um, hence the Vanquish Esports liveries on the cars. Um, but unfortunately, he had to work, so B Rated was able to jump in short notice. Thanks to uh, Phil for coming in. Uh, LBJ007 is Team Mercedes, has 91, Team Ford in the GT. Um, the GT is an interesting choice. Good car, but my god, it loves to slide. Uh, Milky Bar 87 is in the Mazda as well. Uh, Tricky Tree 74 in the Alpha. This is an interesting car and one that I'm I'm eager to see how it does throughout the, se uh, throughout the season, to be fair, because it's an interesting choice. Uh, the Pull King is uh, the other Mercedes, Mutt 36 is the other Ford, and James Harbin is the other um, uh, Alfa Romeo. So we'll jump to the start. I'll give you a disclaimer warning. There's an incident at the start. Um, I'm going to review that at the end of the video. There's no point stopping the action straight away and then, yeah, just interrupting everything. Uh, so we're in for 30 minutes at Laguna Seca. I'm I very likely won't sit and commentate the entire lot. There's probably not a lot of point. Uh, you'll probably find this more of a highlights reel than anything else, uh, but we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Okay, let's get underway. <laughs> Thundercat are having a little bit of a battle for P2. Thundercat's got the inside line, so he's he's effectively going to have that one. Uh, Fat Pickles Bro is on his way out in front of the Honda. And the Honda does handle him lovely. Uh, but he's just ran it wide a little bit, and that's going to drop him down to third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Oh, he's tumbling. He's absolutely tumbling. He's down to seventh already. Uh, Mot 36 in the Ford was able to sneak through. Tricky Tree's going for a move on the Lexus. The Aston Martin does love its corners and brakes, but it's not the greatest in a straight line. So once he drops out of the slipstream, uh, you're probably going to expect to see that car fall back a little bit. Uh, coming up to the corkscrew for the first time, we see Pav go for a move on the inside of Thundercat in the Honda. Uh, he's braking just a little bit of a coming together. Thundercat gets some air. Like uh, B Rated into fourth, Tricky Tree in third, uh, Fat Pickles Bros recovered to fifth, Mutt 36 is in sixth, uh, LBJ 007 in seventh, uh, quickly followed by Rizzler King and the Pull King in the other Mercedes. Milky Bar was lagging like an absolute lunatic throughout this one. Uh, Thundercats down in 11th, James Harbin in 12th, um, and then I'm after basically go well go you'll you'll see it at the end of the video but I basically ended up seven miles off on some beach uh, 
right at the start. So I'm all the way down in 13th, just trying to make the best out of this one. Uh, meanwhile, come back to the start, path 46, massive gap uh, behind him now. To Tricky Tree's the next car along, and he's got to be a good three or four seconds back now. Uh, B rated, uh, doing a really good job in third. The Lexus, uh, not the fastest car on the circuit, but it's very stable. So you can basically just chuck this thing around and it will uh, it will absolutely love it. Has 91 been chased down by Fat Pickles? Bro, he's going to have a point to prove because he did get pulled here. Uh, so I'd be ready to make a little bit of a mess of the course screw there, but nice to recover that. Good driving from Phil. Uh, so that Mutz just been caught up a little bit. He had to get off the throttle. Uh, he didn't want to hit b rated so he got off the throttle. That allowed Fat Pickles Bro to catch up to him. So these three are now... Uh, embroiled in a little bit of a battle. Mutt's going to go for the move at the inside. Not going to get that made, I'm afraid. Needs to get some, sorry, not Mutt has. Going to go for a move. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't get that one made. So, Rizzle King finds his way through. Meanwhile, behind the other forward of Mutt. Um, he's having some pressure put on him by the Mercedes crew. The Mercedes guys working together, giving each other the slipstream down the straight. And they're both going to sneak past Mutt uh, down into turn one. I say some really good liveries on show today. I do like this one that's on the Ford GT. That's a that's really not one nicely put together bit of kit. Uh, always like a red and a black like the Thundercats got on the NSX. Uh, so as you can see, I've caught back up now, um, but I've lost that much time. Uh, the, the chance of any brilliant result like this race has, has gone out the window and I don't like this track anyway I'm not a fan of it um, at this point though I did have uh, a 121.5 lap which is pretty decent to say that Pav who is a ridiculously fast guy was setting 122.0 so I'm half a second quicker than Pav at the minute which I'm going to save her because I'll never say that again uh, he's a really fast guy he's our Pav repping the Yorkshire Kumi Duck I'll be right up into second so something's happened. Something's happened here. Be ready. Basically, been pushed down the track by Fat Pickles. Bro, uh, these two MRC guys. So we'll see how they battle it out. Fat Pickles is going to go for an audacious move around the outside. That uh, NSX can stick it though. It's got really good traction. Uh, it does turn into the inside for technically turn three. Gets that move made. I think B-Rate's just going to run a little bit wide. No, he recovers, but uh, that's going to put the Mazda on his tail. Uh, Rizzle King does look to slip one up the inside as well. So that's a good move by Rizzle King. Very opportunistic in the Mazda. Uh, the Merc of the Pull King is trying to follow his friend through, but not having the same level of success. Uh, Thundercat after leading the race at one point down in seventh. Uh, but don't forget he was airborne at the end of lap one so no surprise really he's having a decent recovery stuck in traffic now if ever been on lap 36 is a Ford bump stop Milky Bar's just gone down the inside oh, so Milky Bar's lost it I'm following these guys through so I'm up into ninth uh, made a few places up Just managed to sneak past the Ford of Mutt 36 there, gave me tons of room. Uh, it's a good race for his Mutt 36, he's, uh, he's respectful, but he's a quick guy as well. So I uh, was very conscious of the threat that those Fords possessed in all the races. You can see the amount of time I'm losing in traffic now, set so at 124.0, so that's two and a bit seconds slower than this car's got in it. Doesn't seem to be a, a ton of action going on on track. We'll just have a bit of a recap. So, Pav 46 leading the way and by a considerable distance as well. Uh, he's just at a 121.8, so he's certainly up in the pace now. Uh, the Porsche 911 RSR, his teammate Potter wasn't able to attend this one, so it's just Pav 46 in for this league. Uh, Potter's another very fast guy, so uh, if Potter would have turned up to this, then they would have, in my opinion, they would have probably walked it because I've raced with both of these guys and I can attest to, to their pace. 
uh, Fat Pickles Bro, another very fast guy. He's, he's been languishing in the lower leagues of DMRC, but purely because he's, I think he's quite new to the league, I think. But um, he's been utterly dominant, um, and some of his fastest lap times have been uh, have been right up there as well. So um, he's a, he seems to be a fast guy, but I've never driven directly with him, so I can't really, uh, other than this. So I can't really comment too much, but he's certainly lapping the pace in that NSX and a 120 uh, Rizzle King in the Mazda, a car that I didn't think would do too well, but also not a car that I've driven that much either, so who knows. Uh, B rated in fourth in the Lexus, representing well. Uh, he's putting in a good performance so far, he's B rated. Uh, the Paul King in the Merc in fifth, probably expected the Merc a little bit higher, but it is a bit of a tank. Probably not that well suited to the narrow, twisty Laguna Seca circuit. Uh, has that one in the Ford in six, hot on the Paul King's tail. Uh, he's been chased down by Thundercat though, and Thundercat will want to get back up towards the podium. Uh, tricky treating now for now, he's got a little bit of free air, sort of hoping to see how he gets on. James Harbin in the other Alpha again, similar story, waiting to see how these boys get on, on in that car. Uh, Milky Bar in 10th, you can see the lag just spiking all over the shop. Uh, it didn't phase me in this race, but I can see why it, it did annoy others. Uh, LBJ007 did go off a lap or two ago, so he's down in 11th. I've had a trip off as well, so yeah, not the greatest of showings. I don't like Laguna Seca, <laughs> I'm not a fan. Uh, I had a little bit of an off, and, and rather than rejoin the track in an unsafe manner, I just let everyone go again. Um, and then Mutt has had a similar moment. Uh, so that's your racing so far. We're in the GT3s, we have fuel uh, fuel depletion and tyre wear on. So, no stops are possible, but it's, it's really difficult. So, I think everyone picks, and it's just a matter of how you pick the strategy sort of plan. So we're going to pick the action up lap 15, everybody's now pitted, I'm not going to lie, not a lot happened since I dropped the coverage and picked it back up again. Uh, but the pit stops threw up some interesting outcomes, so Fat Pickles Bro is now leading, uh, that was because, uh, well, I'll come back to me right, um, Pav did pit, he's only just come out, so he's pitted 20 minutes since the race has filled his car up and he didn't need to didn't need to do that many uh, that much fuel so he's carrying 50 litres of fuel he doesn't need. Uh, b rated is going to have to come in now uh, for more fuel. I think he uh, just got a bit of a miscalculation on his fuel uh, which we all do. I've done that as well. Um, so that's going to promote Rizlicking to third. Uh, b rated in theory should only need a bit of a splash and dash but he's still going to drop him down to like 9th or 10th place. Uh, Path 46 has now got all that work to do again. That massive lead he built up effectively has now been undone. And he's got eight and a half minutes in which to reel in and overtake Fat Pickles Bro. So we'll see how he gets on with that. Uh, Rizla King in sort of on his own, really, in third place. Uh, Path 46 is pulling away from him um, in the Porsche. And Smoking in Mercedes has got a lot of company. Uh, oh, he did have a lot of company. Um, I just missed seeing that one. No, the Paul King's on his own. It's B rated, he's got a lot of company. He's come out in fifth. Uh, but he's got the Alpha duo behind him. So James Harbin and Tricky Tree have spent pretty much the entire race together. And I've got to be honest, they've worked together really well. Uh, these Alphas, they're good cars, just not great in a straight line. Uh, so Thundercat's going to look to make a move on these boys very soon, I think. Uh, but getting past one of them is not easy. Getting past two of them is, is going to be a tough order. Uh, so we'll see how Tricky uh, sorry, Tricky Tree and James Harbour manage to defend against the rampaging Honda. Uh, Willow Springs isn't the easiest track. Not Willow Springs. I feel, you know what? This feels like Willow Springs. Bloody desert track. Um, Laguna Seca isn't the easiest track to overtake on at the best of times and uh, is Thundercat going to try and make a move happen under braking. Going to be hard against some Alphas because they're brilliant on the brakes. Uh, 
Right, so we'll come back to from the cat and see how he gets on with that one. Right, has 91 in the Ford. Was running quite high up earlier in the race. Uh, but the Ford is prone to stepping its back end out. So maybe that's happened. Milky Bar in the Mazda running in temp for the minute. Um, I'm having an absolute shocker. I'm not going to lie. I'm not enjoying myself at all. Don't like this track. Probably put too much fuel in as well when I pitted. Um, and I'm all the way down in 11th. Uh, so yeah, not a great day for me. Um, what 36? Same really, I think. I don't think he was enjoying his day out. Uh, and LBJ. Pretty much out of fuel. Uh, just getting a little bit of a top. Pav 46. Managed to get back past. Let's have a look when this happened. When did this happen? So... What happened to Fat Pickles Brew? <laughs> did he get it all out of shape? He did. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got to wonder. You've got to wonder how, how we would have got on without that spin. Because I've not seen him make a single error other than that. Don't get me wrong, everyone did that. Everyone did that. Like... I think pretty much everyone on this circuit made some sort of mistake and I haven't seen him do one until then. So you've got to wonder, could he have potentially won this one? Uh, but either way, Path 46 is now ahead. And despite his heavier fuel load, he's now set a fastest lap of 121.4. Uh, uh, so he's well and truly on it. Let's see what else is going on. Um, same as before behind. I'll take you on board for a lap in the Lexus. Now coming down to T1, look for a uh, lovely breaking point on the right. Uh, I like to go for an early apex and tuck in. There's a few different ways you can take that corner, but that one I found most comfortable. Uh, be really careful of the sausage curb. I just kiss it there and it does throw the car a little bit off, so I lose a little bit of time there. Same here, really. The Gloomer Sake has got these little sausage curbs on the inside of every apex, and you have to be careful of them. Uh, Come towards the back of the course, I do get this uh, corner a little bit wrong there, which isn't ideal. Uh, now approaching the back straight up to the court screw. Again, just a little hit of the sausage curb doesn't do me any favours, but I am uh, gaining on Milky Bar with the head. Uh, credit to Milky Bar in fairness, early on in the race he saw was coming and just pulled out of the way. He didn't need to do that, it was directly racing him at the time, but he did. Uh, I don't know if he knew he had some lag issues, so just didn't want to um, didn't want to ruin anyone's race, but either way. Uh, the lag issues didn't affect me because in fairness whenever I went to pass him he, um, he just got out of the way. There you go, if watch his car now though, watch. <laughs> Wheelies. No idea. So again he just sort of slows down here and lets me go. Uh, so that's a lap of the Guinness AK. You can see it's a very technical circuit, very easy to make mistakes on it. Uh, and I made a few. So yeah, not, a, not something that shrouds me in glory this one. So Thundercat's still trying to get past these alphas and there's a little bit of, what's the word? Oh, James Harbin's just lost it there. It's Thundercat going to be, no, he gathers that up really well, James Harbin. That's, that is decent car control. I'm going to give him credit for this. Uh, let's just go on board with him here. So he, he looks to just get two wheels on the outside. Yeah, he gets two wheels on the grass. Um, just keeps it planted to be last. That's the um, that's the Alpha short wheelbase really helping him out. So coming into court, Scoo's able to defend Thundercat. Uh, not much time lost. So there's Tricky Tree in sixth, B rated in fifth, and the Porking in fourth. So there's a five car battle for fourth, sort of evolving, but this is the only action really that's happening on track. The Porking pulls off the circuit, or at least B rated in fourth position. Uh, the Lexus now, with its adequate fuel, should be uh, should be capable of holding off the Alphas. But it still looks marginal on fuel. So we'll see how we get us on. The Alphas have got considerably more, so's the Honda. Uh, James Harbin 
has now had to recede his place to Thundercats, so Thundercats now open to six. Yeah, so we'll see how that situation evolves. Uh, Fat Pickles Bro still got Pav in his sights, in fairness to him, so Pav's not ran away with this as much as he did um, in the first stint, but he's still doing a good job up in first place. The goal screw is coming up to lap traffic as well as Pavs and currently on a new fastest lap. Uh, only just though, so he has to have a near perfect uh, third sector uh, in order to secure a new fastest lap. We'll just stay with him until he crosses the line and see if he manages that. 121.4 is a decent lap. He's not going to do it just on 121.6 for Pav that time. Right? So There's a little bit of time in the third and final sector. It's carrying a lot of fuel as well, so I'm considering those times with that amount of fuel. Uh, basically half of the body in the back seat of that car and it's still lapping quite quickly. Uh, so the two Alphas have now succeeded to the Honda. So, uh, Thundercats past Tricky Tree now. So Thundercat's job with the remaining few minutes of the race is to try and catch B-Rated in the Lexus. Uh, B-Rated's doing some decent laps. It's just a case as to whether he can get this fuel to the end. And I don't think he's going to be... He's flat. Yeah, he's not... He's going to run out of fuel. I guarantee it. He's going to run out of fuel. Uh, which is a shame, because... He's obviously repping Team Lexus. But he did jump in this, and I mean last minute. He... We didn't really have that much prep time for this, so uh, wouldn't really have had any idea with regarding strategy. Uh, so yeah, you can forgive him for that. What else is going on? Let's see if Phil does nip into the pits, does he? No, he's staying out. He's staying. So, he's the 120 on a lap. Yeah, we're going to get another lap or two out of this one, at least. So, Phil's not going to be able to save that amount of fuel. Despite short shifting. Uh, nothing else really going on throughout the field. He's out of gas. So uh, B rate has run out of fuel, uh, sort of got off on the pit exit. Uh, so let's just cover things. So the Pool Kings finished, so have I. I am in, I'm in 10th, got past Milky Bar. Mott's going to come home in 12th, and LBJ in 13th. Uh, but the story is all about this guy, Pav 46. A great race for Pav. Despite carrying way more fuel than anyone else, he still pulled a good result out of his bag. And takes home a race one win for Team Shake and Bake in the Porsche. So that's a win for uh, a win for Yorkshire. Fat Pickles Bro in second, a good race for Fat Pickles Bro. He's done well too. Rizzler King, great result on that Mazda. A tricky tree back past Thundercats and uh, Fourth is a decent outing for uh, for the Alpha. Uh, and what's been mostly an eventful race for the two Alphas, they've uh, they've worked together quite well. Uh, Thundercats had a very eventful race, and I'm quite glad that that one's over as well. James Harbin in sixth, thick place. Uh, so a good race for James. Uh, we saw drifting around the last corner there. Has 91 in the Ford in seventh, and. Um, and then the very economical Lexus in um, in eighth is just going to be the one to, to trundle round. Okay, so I said I'd analyse the start incident, so we'll just watch it from my POV. So this is exactly what I would have seen at the time. And this is exactly the view I race in, so you can see what I would have seen. Uh, so keep your eyes on Rizzler King up ahead doesn't get a great start uh, so what I'm going to do is go around his right hand side there's plenty of room there loads of room right around on the right 
and then suddenly I'm nudged off wide. So let's go back uh, to POV number two, which is going to be Thundercat. So let's go outside Thundercat's car, so you'll notice um, Pav up ahead doesn't get a great start. Uh, Thundercat doesn't really have anywhere to go, so he just backs off to fall. And then there's a little bit of, um, yeah, chaos. Chaos ensues. Behind. So the next person we want to watch the start of is uh, LBJ007. Uh, so he's going to get a good start as well. No better than B rated. And he's going to nip up the middle. He sort of catches Thundercat on sight and goes into the back of him. And then to try and avoid it, spears into the side of me, so... And then there we go. Uh, he does sort of slow down to left to fall, but kind of carries on. Uh, but yeah, that's the turn one, um, not turn one incident, sorry, the uh, first lap incident. So that's race one of the SimFX Infinity GT Manufacturer Series, supported and sponsored by Infinity Decals. Uh, you can find links to everything in the description below. I recommend you go and do some clicking. Uh, so we then take the results of that race um, and reverse them and go. And we're now going to go for a race um, at Suzuka. But I'm going to cover that in a separate video, uh, just so the videos aren't like seven hours long and I ain't got to sit here editing and stitching them all together. So we'll do that in a separate video. Um, but yeah, that's race one out of the way and uh, on to race two.